After the Russian reset, the Russians invaded Ukraine and took over Crimea. And the small and bullying leader uh, of Russia is now dictating terms to the United States to the point where all the, all the United States of America, uh, 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 the, 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 the greatest nation on earth, just withdraws from talks about a, a ceasefire while Vladimir Putin puts a missile defense system in Syria. The provocations by Russia need to be met with American strength. Uh, and, and if Russia chooses to be involved and continue, I should say, to be involved in this barbaric attack on civilians in Aleppo, the United States of America should be prepared to use military force to strike military targets of the Assad regime. We've just got to have American strength on the world stage. When Donald Trump becomes president of the United States, the Russians and other countries in the world will, will know they're dealing with a strong American president. Hillary also has the ability to stand up to Russia in a way that this ticket does not. Donald Trump again and again has praised Vladimir Putin, and it's clear that he has business dealings with Russian oligarchs who are very connected to Putin. The Trump campaign management team had to be fired a month or so ago because of those shadowy connections with pro-Putin forces. Governor Pence made the odd claim. He said, inarguably, Vladimir Putin is a better leader than President Obama. Vladimir Putin's run his economy into the ground. He persecutes LGBT folks and journalists. If you don't know the difference between dictatorship and leadership, then you got to go back to a fifth grade civics class.